welcome to the channel we're outside um the hoppy things are around us and you may get to see one if they grace us with their presence it's a gorgeous day today uh we've spent the morning at a stitchy retreat um and we'll tell you more about that in just a second um if you're not already subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing and um you know let me know what you're up to today today is sunday for us Weekends are way too short, aren't they? All right. Um, Sophie's already peaked like a true child. And she got another unicorn chalk. And what else? And what? Another lollipop. Goodness me. Lollipop. And we had lost Pixie. But we have her again. But we found her again. Eventually, we had to do two searches. All right, yesterday, if you remember, we had the little stork charm and I looked up on the um, nice list, spoilers, the um, is, is QR codes. Nice the QR codes, just as an aside, um, they don't come live until midnight PST. So, or P, no, not PST, CST. So that's in an hour or so for me. So I'll get to actually see what they say about the item then. Okay, so don't forget though, scan your QR code and um, then you can drop a comment. If it's something that you absolutely love and you want to have another 20 of them, then, you know, let Katie know. All right. Ooh, no. Let's get into three. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. Right. Oh my goodness. This is a curry Lee and this is taste and flavor. Okay, now I'm trying to look at the um, screen and see what you guys can see. And I can see my reflection and then the screen. All right, this is for mulled wine. Have you had mulled wine? Okay, mulled wine is something that my sister introduced me to, um, well, uh, well over 20 years ago, probably about 30 years ago. She had gone on a skiing trip and came back with this new amazing concoction called Glühwein, which was a ski tradition of having a hot wine after the ski or something like that, or maybe it was before, I think it was after the ski. Oh, I hate these. Why? I absolutely hate them. Why do you hate them? Because they're impossible to get into. See, I like... The one that I had on day one was easy. This one is just being horrible. Um, Hang on, I think we're in it. Yeah. You're getting it. That's good. They target lollipops for kids. And There's no way a kid could break into that. They're pretty, they're pretty good, but I don't know that they're that good. Okay, so we're. Okay. Are we on the screen? There we go. Okay, so the recipe is simple. It's just to add your own red wine or apple cider. Ooh, apple cider might be nice. Or even pear cider. Uh, directions. Add two teaspoons of mulling spice to each cup of apple cider or red wine. Simmer for 15 to 30 minutes. The longer they have to simmer, the more intense they become. Remove the spices. Serve warm. And then you can garnish with a cinnamon stick to stir. Add a splash of brandy or bourbon. Add honey or maple syrup for a touch of sweetness. Add fresh orange and cranberries. There is orange peel, cinnamon, cloves, and allspice. Um, and they're donating a part of the profits to charities Queen's that help feed hungry families and animals in need. Thank you for your purchase. Carrie Lee has um, done a number of items <laughs> for us in the Black Needle um, boxes. And she does all kinds of cooking stuff and oh my goodness, this is chunky. It's got all sorts of stuff. You might want to get one of those little cheese bags, um cheesecloth bags. To put that in. I don't see one in here. I'm just seeing the sticker. Yeah. So the cheesecloth bags that you can get or a strainer maybe would do just as good a job. So that is day three. I had the most delicious wine the other day. Um, it's one of my local Australian um, winemakers and 
oh, I could have demolished the bottle in no time at all. Can I have one, please? I think it's Queenie. Could have demolished the bottle in next to no time. Lucy, come here. Can I have Queenie, please, and I'll show everyone? Can I show her? You can try, but your hands are a bit full. No, you can't. You won't have seen that one. It's a dash behind me. Okay, thank you. Oh. That is Queenie! This is Queenie. This is our tiny tot. She's actually quite small. I need to start getting her on and she's double a bit rations. Shy. She's getting over the bit shy and she's doing really well. But yeah, this is Queenie. She is a paddy melon. They are all paddies. And they use their great big feet to do the hopping and do zoomies around the house. There you go. And one of them's called Lucy. Yes, one of them is called Lucy. We've got Lucy, Hiccup, Indy, Tilly, Queenie, and Ruby. And they are all alphabetical. The next one is Sophie. And I don't know when it, we're going to get a, an S because six and, is. And S and this is going to be next. Six is probably us for this season, to be honest. Um, but when we release one, we'll get another one. Yeah, when we release them, we'll wait for the next Joey season and insanity because. And then yes, we'll only have one when It's busy. Come. When we went to the stitching retreat, it okay. was a high tea out okay. in okay. Um, the wine region, Richmond, uh, for us. And they did a secret Santa. And we did the left right game. Now, I don't know if you've played the left right game, but. Everyone had a gift, mm -hmm. and depending on whether or not you have an odd or an even, I think is how mm -hmm. you start. So mm -hmm. if you um, have an odd number of people, you start with your gift, mm -hmm. and that ensures that you don't get it back. And if you have an even number of people, you start with um, somebody else's gift, and that ensures that you don't get yours. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe there's some way of doing it. I don't know. But it's a left and right game. And they basically went and they told a story. So we're passing these left and right. And you're getting to feel a few of the packages going, ooh, that's heavy. And ooh, that's, that sounds pretty. Or that feels pretty. I want that one. Anyway, this is what we got. The girls were amazing. And inside, I was only looking at these kinds of things just the other day. Um, counting pins. Um, I don't know if you've ever used counting pins. But... They're really handy even for um, blocking for my knitting. And uh, yeah, these are going to come in very useful. We've got a gorgeous lavender bag, uh, which is all the smelly potpourri, and it's from Port Arthur. And yes, Sophie got her chocolates and my chocolates and started eating them. And yeah, they're just roses. You don't have to keep on putting it into the camera. Okay. Yeah, rude now. And also a little bottle of charms. It's really cute. It's covered in Sophie's paw prints. But it's got a scissors charm, it's got a pair of glasses, it's got a sewing machine, and it's got a ball of wool. I've shown them. Go away, child. My turn. And I got a little beeswax conditioner. So you pop the wax out of the tin, you use one side for light and the other side for dark. You gently glide the floss between thumb and wax, then smooth between thumb and forefinger to evenly distribute. So there's a little just block of beeswax in this. And I guess it just falls out. And it will fall even easier once you've used it a couple of times. Don't leave it in the sun. Well, leave it in the sun if you want to reshape it. But yeah, isn't it dinky? It's the kind of thing that you might want paddy wax or um, someone to do. If I'm not even sure if paddy wax is still in operation um, from a diamond painting wax idea. But yeah, so some lovely little gifts from the Secret Santa. Um, we were a bit more frocked up than we are. Um, we've come home and got changed and searched under beds and behind things. Um, for Sophie's pixie and we found it buried in sheets or something so um, 
there is that. All right, tomorrow it's back to work. It's a long day and I'll come home and we'll get into recording and um, I'll get to do this all again with you for day four. Yes, I have to check the date. Crazy. Um, next to no time, it's going to be January 2024. And it's like, where has this year gone? Um, it's been a hell of a year. These guys are certainly making up for it. Like, not a peep out of them. We've got our noisy birds instead. All right. I'll let you go. I'll catch you later. Bye for now. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand.